Hello, everybody. My name is Becky Cohen, Gold Evo 100 agent with the companies. Um, I have been here for one year, started last June, and um, was working a full time plus job, was laid off in November, and yay, I have not looked back. So I'm here to help you guys learn other things. This one's going to be um, advertising with your Viator um, vendor, Viator, by by order, um, however you guys say it, but I say it Viator. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So, and I'm going to do my entire desktop so that I can show you how I do things. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, here we have this Zoom stuff going. Mm -mm. All right. Um, so <clears throat> first off, let's get our Viator open. So we're going to come in here and I'm going to grab it out of my bookmarks. There it is. <clears throat> and pops up this. I'm already signed in, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out so that here, here we go. Um, there's, there's a couple of ways that you can share your link either with your clients or on your advertising on Facebook or whatever. Okay. Um, so first off is you want to make sure that you are actually in your account. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and log in so that, um, Viator can recognize me, right? Because before you want to share this entire link, and this is for your entire Viator website, um, which you can do, all right? So you can copy this and you can put it out there in an advertisement, wherever. And on that one, you can just say, hey, you guys, go in any place that you want to look up an excursion or something to do in a town near you, um, check out my link, all right? So something to that effect, I'm not going to do that here right yet, but obviously <clears throat> you guys can do that. And look, um, this is a uh, uh, different languages I'm assuming, but they can, when, when they pop in here, when they come in, of course, they're going to search a destination, right? There you go. So even those people that speak Spanish, uh, and don't read in English, they can come in here and they can change that. So that's good to know also. So what we're going to do is, is now I'm just going to go ahead and search something. So let's say today, maybe you have people on a cruise and their cruise is going to hit, um, maybe Belize, uh, Costa Maya and Cozumel or something to that effect, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search, do my search for Belize. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, I can't even spell. Sorry, you guys. Always. I can never spell. Oh. And it takes us back out. All right. So. And then this is going to pop up everything that has to offer in Belize. You know what? Let's do it a different way. I want to just see, um, let's see what comes up if we put in, say, the Western Caribbean. I'm spelling that one wrong. No, it's not going to come up like that. I was hoping that it would like come up and this is just going to say, oh, Caribbean coast tours, Bora Bora. Let's see what we have. Freedom, Missouri, Pink Sea, Mud Volcano. Ooh, isn't that look pretty? Mm -mm -mm. San Felipe Castle, Cartagena, Santa Marta. So maybe it does have some different areas, but 
Again, that's not really what I'm going for. Um, what I am going for, and if you did have somebody like I'm, I'm like searching. So again, we could search Belize or let's just do Cozumel. I always spell that one wrong. All right, let's do Cozumel. Let's just get on with this. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got Cozumel. This is everything that's happening in Cozumel, right? So if they got off port, at port, if their um, cruise goes to Cozumel, they can come in. You can give them the link for Cozumel, and um, there you have it. So people that are on a cruise, right? You could, if you know their ports, you could come in and give them each destination link. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share this link for Cozumel. I'm just gonna go ahead and do Cozumel just so we can get moving on. Um, and you guys, obviously, if you wanted to share for a cruise and if they were going to several different ports, if you wanted to give it to them that way, you could just give them that entire uh, your entire website link. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and post this in a group. Now I have a personal group for my team and I'm going to take it into there so that I can show you a couple of things when you're sharing into groups. Okay. First off, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to paste it in here. All right. And the link, the picture that comes up with the link is not very, um, you know what, it's not very pretty, right? Because it just says this, the top 10 um, excursions. Uh, yep in Cozumel, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of move my um, browser window. And next I'm going to uh, do, 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 come in here and go to freeimages.com. And we can just type it in <clears throat> and it might be already there, it's not, okay. So free, all right, freeimages.com, we're gonna go there. And now we're going to type in Cozumel. Okay. And now it's going to give us some pictures for Cozumel. <laughs> Let's see. And when you're in here doing this, <clears throat> you can do it either way, however you do your pictures. Um, I tend to uh just hold and drag so that's how i do it um let's see i kind of like this one let's see let's see so you kind of want to give them and if actually if they were going to port you might want to add this one and you can add more than one so you know what i think i am going to do that today Yesterday I did not. So I'm going to take this one. I like this one. It'll go over there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's bunch these up. Mm -mm. Sorry, clean up my, my little area over here. Um, another one. Okay, so we got the one like that. So another one that I think I'm going to take just so they're understanding things that they can do. I might take this one. Let's take this one so that they could probably swim with the turtles. There might be one of those in Viator, right? Um, and then I'm going to make sure that they understand that their ship is going to be at port, right? So I might take this one. There's some really lovely ones here, though, you guys. So search through and see what you like whichever ones that you like and you can take, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and take this one too. So I'm gonna do three pictures today. Usually I just do one because three gets a little bunched up, right? But that's all right, we're gonna do three. So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna like, ah, uh, my mouse isn't working. I'm gonna X that one out. Uh, the first one I'm gonna put up is this one to be nice and pretty and big. All right, then I'm gonna take the turtle and then I'm gonna take the port and those two will be together. So now they can see. And now I'm gonna say, 
something like, are you on a cruise that has mm -mm, Cozumel as a port stop? Something to that effect. You guys can change that up. Check out all the options of things to do while you're there. All right. Wow. And then um, in a group, you guys, you have this advantage in a group versus your timeline, okay? So you can do this, you can make it big. Um, let's see, are you on a cruise? And now I'm gonna separate it because it got really big. That has, and I think I'm gonna take that back up. Oops, didn't go. Uh-oh, oh my goodness. that has Cozumel as a port stop. Or you could say as a destination. Are you on a cruise? That. All right, check out all the options. And we can just bolt this one while you're there. And then you can say, click the link below. Easy peasy, you guys. That's so simple. And now you've got your advertisement. We're going to go ahead and post that. Mm -mm -mm. It'll probably adjust my wording or something. Yep, it always does, which is unfortunate that you can't make it um, stay in the format you want it to be in sometimes, but oh well. So now if they were to click into here, you guys, what's going to happen? It's going to pop up my viator see so that they can search any anything and everything that is actually going on in cosmel even if they wanted a private vip tour van right maybe um they're there just two of them and now they've met a couple of other people that they can share the group with that'd be kind of cool right there's all kinds of fun stuff that they could do. They're just going to have to come in here and check the hours and stuff. And this is kind of why I like to give the links to my clients, because you're not sure once they get to a destination, right? Um, they might be like, just want to hang out at the bar the first evening. So if you had them already scheduled for something, they'd have to be on your timeline. So Viator is really cool in that way that you can actually just give it to them. They can check out the days, they can check out the times, especially if they're not on a cruise, right? If they're not on a cruise, then um, if they're just there in Cozumel or wherever the case may be, then you can just go ahead and give them. And that is the, the actually the good thing about being able to share just the, 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 the big link also, because maybe you've got somebody going to Greece and they're just gonna drive around the countryside. Well, there might be little towns that they're going through. So instead of just giving them the link just specifically for Greece, you could just give them this big link that we saw out here on the um, page. Let's go back, let's go back, see if we can't get. Um, and before you actually punch anything in, we did the Caribbean coast. Um, right here we are. No, that still believes, but you guys get the idea, right? Here we are. <clears throat> your home page, your home page, like your dashboard page provider. If it, you could just give them this entire link here, you guys, and then that way they are getting everything in the area that they may be in. Okay, you maybe have people going to Greece and they're gonna do a couple of tours um, in 
in the area or whatever the case may be. So those are your options. Now, somebody also asked yesterday when I did the training, the live training on, on this, if you can embed into the pictures. And you guys, I'm not very tech savvy. So when you guys figure that out, please let me know because I'm sure you can, right? You can embed the link into the picture so that once you get it here, in name and if you just want it in the picture so they can just like click into the picture because if we click into the picture here it's just the picture right so um somebody else more technology is going to be able to do that right so again um and then from here obviously you guys can take this and put it in any of your other groups um so i'd come up here to my groups i go over here i go to my membership and and i just like start i'm going to punch in like a no rules group so that way we can see if it gets in right away uh, uh, uh. let's let's like put it in here see if it goes right away um what i do sometimes also you guys is i'll open up a separate facebook so that i can work from from facebook to facebook Okay, because right now I need to find that ad where I was at on my personal um, group. Come on. It's like having it was having a, a lag. All right, so here it is. So again, I'm going to take this. I don't some yesterday was not taking the entire uh, link when I copied it, but we're going to try. So I'm going to copy that. We're going to come back over here to this group. Always um, put into the discussion side. Going to paste it in there. It did take the link. And here's that ugly picture. So again, I'm going to come and get my picture. Right. I'm going to get my three pictures. And then there you have it. Um, and it doesn't like really. Uh oh. My screen gets jumpy sometimes. And there we have it. Change that. And good to go. Hopefully it'll go right in. Yep, there it is. In that group, Beverly Hills, buy, sell, trade, no rules. We are selling something, right? We're offering something. So, uh-oh, anyways, right? There you go. Anyway, so that's, um, I guess, a little bit about Viator. This now. So when you guys are sharing this link or any of these links, um, and you're wondering if somebody, because I've actually, I made the mistake. So here's, here's my story. I made the mistake, first off, last year when I was first getting started and I had a couple that went to Hawaii um, and they he wanted some things to do. He didn't want to have to think about it, right? He didn't want to have to search it up. So I just gave him um, Maui links. I just like went in and because that's where they were staying, Maui. And what I was doing, I was like, okay, what would they really like? So I think I put something like this in um i did not put this one in i like put some whatever some snorkeling stuff in um but i just came in here because you can do this also you guys so they wanted to do a uh a, a, a luau thing so i came in and i got these specific links for the specific things okay i clicked on here and i shared those in messenger which you can so if you have somebody that is um just wants a specific thing that you know of in a specific area you can come in and get that that specific link obviously okay so i didn't know a whole lot and i was just coming in <clears throat> and getting a bunch of different links for maui well, then I saw him posting on Facebook about his, you know, vacation and whatnot. And what did they do? They ended up doing a helicopter ride. And this was one of the things I did not send him. So again, this is why now I've learned that instead of, of giving them specific things, because you don't know what you might like, might not be what your client likes, right? 
um, and what your price point is, what you're thinking of trying to like uh, lowball and save them money, they might not care what it is once they get there. So if you know they're going to Maui or whatever, you're going to share the entire link or you just now we know that we can give them the entire Viator website. Now you're going to say, OK, well, how do I find out if somebody's actually booked it? Um, and again, I've, I have uh, I only share these when I'm doing the trainings um, and then sometimes I might advertise Viator here and there. But um, you do here is where you go anyway. So you're going to come over here and you're going to go come to manage your account to see if somebody's actually booked something with you. I'm not sure if it sends you an email directly, but you can come in here and you go to manage your account. You're going to come up here to manage bookings. OK, and then it will show bookings. You can look at all your bookings. No bookings found because obviously there's going to be a list, right? Um, and then you could probably click on it and then claim the booking. Okay. And then you're going to have to um, obviously do your commission tracking form for that. Right. So, again, easy peasy. The client's dealing with it all themselves. You guys do not have to do credit card authorization because they're booking it, you guys. So, this is the fun stuff about being able to give your clients options of wherever it is that you're getting them to without having to ask them a bunch of questions. Now, remember, if you are using VAX, your VAX does have the features tab, which does have excursions on there. So obviously, you're going to want to add the, a couple of excursions that way, all right? because you're going to make more commission off of, of your excursion through VAX than you are here on Viator. Viator only pays 8%. Last year when I first got started, they were paying 10, but they did lower that to 8%. But you know what? The more times that you guys start sharing this, the more money you're going to have coming in. Right? Okay. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. I know I probably forgot something. But again, Viator, what a cool thing to use. Um, just remember, you can share the entire link. You can share this entire Viator link to make it easier for your client to um, use wherever they go, especially if they're, hey, you know what? Maybe you've got people that are just driving to and from um, wherever, let's say Virginia, down to Orlando, okay, to go to Disney World or whatever. Um, and maybe they're going to stop once. Now, I know that's not a very long drive, but maybe they are just going to stop. And this is something that you guys have, tra as travel agents, need to start reminding your clients that, hey, look, you know what? There's all kinds of beautiful things to do along the way if you guys are driving. Why not take a couple of extra days, um, spend one night in, you know, and take them like halfway, right? See, you guys go map it out and see what is there. See what is going to be along their trip and then give them the link to Viator so that they can go to some of the battlefields, so that they can go see the Shenandoah Valley or whatever the case may be, right? Okay. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, we forget about our own backyard here in the United States. Um, I've actually had an opportunity to see a lot of that as I was a kid. Um, but you guys, there is so much before it's gone. Let's let's remind our clients that it's out there and share the entire link with them. OK, thank you again for joining me today. Becky Cohen, Gold Evil 100. And have a wonderful travel agent uh, experience. Yay. Thanks, guys.